Dear Journal, while out for a morning of caching, I ended up using nature as my confessional. Uh, it took a paddle boat to come out here and get this cache. I uh, had some trouble coming ashore, so everybody remember where I parked. The other day, I got a notification about a cache I had found a few years ago. It was a difficult cache. I didn't find it the first few times. Because it's a fake rock. The location, while cool, had some abandoned little ruins there, that sort of thing. It, uh... It was near letterboxes, and everybody kept finding the letterboxes, and not the cash, and it was, you look at the logs, it's a bit messed up. But after a few did not finds, it was archived, and I checked, the owner hasn't been on since 2014. And, yeah, cash is archived, and it's just sitting there, doing nothing, right? So I went over the river and through the woods to the cool location found it again and well I, I took it well now i'll just have to carry around this rock probably not like this i figured cash owner's mia i can always give it back i left a note hey i took your shit right i didn't do anything wrong i'm gonna recycle it i want to put it out and one of two options I'll put it out as a little tribute or I can make a cache called, someone please take me and give me a better home. I'm sure that's been done before. Whoever wants to, take the cache. I'll mark it as archived. And you give it a better home. So there's a bike bridge railroad. They rode these dope little things. <laughs> on, the old, on the old railroad bridge. I would totally do that. That looks incredibly fun. I know this is probably supposed to be an old timey bicycle. But I find it very erotic. Like a sperm circling the egg, trying to find a way in. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I stopped to record that. Because feeling erotic is better than feeling guilt. Why do I feel like the moment I put this rock out, that's when the original owner will come back and start playing again? Well, this can't be worth more than a Jackson, right? Or if you're viewing this after 2028, a Tubman. I'm all for the update, but that's going to make it weird for me in the strip clubs. <laughs> Just kidding. I'd never give a stripper $20. Any road, what you should take away from all of this is that you now see this wasn't some clickbait title. I actually stole the cash. For the greater good. The greater good. How can this be for the greater good? The greater good. Journal, it is certainly not all right to leave Andy's mints in geocaches, okay? And it's definitely, certainly not all right to eat these delicious Andy mints that you find in geocaches, okay? I saw a tweet a while ago. Dude was complaining, well, his words mildly annoyed, I believe, that somebody removed a favorite point from his archived cache. Now... Having a few favorite pointed caches myself, I guess I can sympathize, but uh, on the other hand, uh, they're my goddamn favorite points to do with as I please. Am I wrong in thinking this? Uh, uh, duh, yeah, Skimbosh from the past, favorite points are a premium thing, aka money, to do with as I please. Haha, <laughs> I said that twice. For the uninitiated, premium members get one favorite point to distribute for every ten caches they find. And I'm sure this has never tempted anyone to claim a fine when there was none, so <laughs> you know what, forget I even brought it up. What favorite points do is help signify which caches are worth the trip. So I'm sorry if your cache is archived, but it's no longer worth the trip. I'm sure I will also feel bad when my validation points are pulled out from under me, Adam, but for the greater good, eh? How can this be for the greater good? The greater good. Shut it! For the greater good, those points would be better served on active caches. Well, I can't be the only one moving FPs around and stealing geocaches, right, Journal? I'm just airing my dirty laundry. Ah, oh, quick! Distraction clip! First cache requires the use of, uh, projection. You know, get a bearing and some, some distance. I, uh, generally, I'm not good at projection. Isn't that right, you fat, balding, middle-aged tree with erectile dysfunction? <laughs>